Okay, now we're going to talk about asbestosis. So that's going to take place on the bottom floor over here, and that's because asbestosis affects the lower lobes of the lungs. It's going to be represented by this ass over here, like a donkey, the ass. Best toes. He has such great toes. The ass with the best toes for asbestos. And this worker over here, he's really excited about it. So anyway, asbestosis is a long-term inflation and scarring of the lungs due to breathing in asbestos fibers. And it's associated with people who work with shipbuilding, hence this ship over here. I guess this worker was working on this ship over here. And we also see this washing station in the back, because he's also a plumber. It's seen in plumbers. And it's also seen in people who work with roofing. And that's why we have this ass over here coming out of the roof. Anyway, let's take a look at the back of the wall over here. We see a few random images. I'm not sure what these are doing in this guy's room. But anyway, in asbestosis, there's going to be ivory white calcified super diaphragmatic and pleural plaques. In this x-ray over here, we can see the pleural plaques, which are very characteristic of asbestosis. And in this image over here, we see the ivory white calcifications. In this image here in the middle, we see the asbestos, the asbestos bodies, also known as ferruginous bodies, which are golden brown fusiform rods resembling dumbbells. These are found in the alveolar sputum sample, visualized using Prussian blue stain, often obtained by bronchoalveolar lavage. And these are really important for diagnosis. Okay, let's see what's going on over here. So here we note that there's this car over here with the broccoli inside smashed into the wall. And this is gonna remind us of bronchogenic carcinoma. There's an increased risk of bronchogenic carcinoma, and this supersedes the risk of mesothelia. There's this fluid coming down from the broccoli to help us remember the effusion, the risk of pleural effusion with asbestosis. And then there's this Kaplan study book randomly in the car. I don't know why, but to remind us of the increased risk of Kaplan syndrome, which is basically just rheumatoid arthritis and pneumoconiosis that manifests with intrapulmonary nodules. All right, that's it for asbestosis and viroliosis. I hope you enjoyed. Take care.